Hi everybody, Neil Kravitz here. I hope you are enjoying these daily clinical pearls. For this pearl, I'd like to talk about the type one versus type two herbs. Most orthodontists are familiar with the type one design. They'll simply refer to that as the herbs appliance, but there is a type two design that's very effective if the patient keeps torquing out the appliance. Now, here we have a type one and type two design, and you'll see that the upper components are the exact same. For my office, I like to use Rolo bands with a mini expander and rests on the upper fours. What separates type one versus type two is the lower component and specifically where the lower pivots are located. For a type one design, we have bands on the sixes, but the pivots are actually cantilevered off buckle arms. So for a type one design, you have bands on the upper and lower sixes and the pivots where those plungers will screw into come off cantilever arms. For a type two design, you actually have premolar bands and the pivots are directly soldered to those premolar bands. We do have some occlusal rests on the lower sixes. So for a type two design, the bands will be on the upper sixes and the lower fours. Now I primarily do a type one design. It's more aesthetic, not having those metal bands in the front, but a type two design is wonderful to do for patients with a flat mandibular plane angle, brachycephalic, muscle hypertonicity, patients who are really going to torque that appliance out. If you knock out a Herbst one or two times, I'm going to switch you to a type two design. I also like a type two design when you have impacted lower second molars. Oftentimes with mandibular retronathia, there's insufficient room for those lower second molars to erupt and putting on lower first molar bands from a type one design would further impact those lower second molars. But if you use your type two design, you have occlusal rests on the sixes and as you advance the mandibular dentition, this gives room for those lower second molars to erupt. So in summary, a type two design has bands on the lower fours rather than off cantilever arms where those pivots would be soldered to. It has rests on the lower sixes. I primarily use a type two design for brachycephalic patients or patients who continually torque out the appliance. I also use it when there are impacted lower second molars. The only disadvantages of the type two design, it's a little less aesthetic because you can see those bands and it's a little bit harder to remove. Sometimes you have to get out that 557 cross cut fissure and make your slit to remove those bands. Give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for supporting the JCO.